Hey, so you're thinking about moving to Inspirada here in Henderson and you're wondering what is the fuss all about? I've heard about Inspirada, everyone always talks about it, but what is it all about? Well, stick around for this video because in this video, I'm going to give you a little tour of Inspirada, showing you some of the highlights and explain to you actually some of the reasons why I'm going to move my family to Inspirada. And we're going to start right now. So today guys we are in Inspirada in Henderson. Inspirada is located towards the south of Henderson, near the Henderson Executive Airport or the M Resort, not too far from the Raiders training facility. Hopefully this is Raiders year, I've been saying that every year, hopefully it's their year this year. And Inspirada is a great community in every sense of the word community. They have events that go on, there's a farmer's market which is bi-monthly, there's different yoga events that go on, there's wine tasting, there was a Valentine's Kids Arts Crafts Festival, and you can check out the local events that go on on either the Inspirada website or on the Inspirada Facebook page and that keeps you up to date. There's a variety of different home styles. You can look at new build construction from the four main builders, so KB Homes, uh, Tripoint, Lennar, and then Toll Brothers for the luxury feel. And also there's a really good resale market. At the moment, the sort of average price of a town home is around about 350,000. And the average price of a single family home is around about 560. So that is a good range and you know, it's great for first time buyers. It's an area that's still growing and has still so much to offer as well. And there's plenty more planned that's gonna be developed. But we're gonna check out some of the amenities now and some of the things that makes this a great place to call home. So, as you can see guys, you know, the homes are definitely a modern style. They sort of look a bit Mediterranean as well, it sort of feels Mediterranean to me. And, you know, some of the road, the street names are Mediterranean as well. You can see that the homes can be a bit close together, but there's so much great things to enjoy outdoors with all the amenities outdoors that we'll touch on a little bit later that you don't really feel it so much. You can also see it's a well-maintained community and with that comes, you know, being in a master plan community that does have a HOA. The HOA fee monthly in Inspirata starts at $85 a month, but you can see the community is definitely well looked after. There's lots of great amenities to enjoy, including the parks and the swimming pools. They are also well looked after. There's also security that patrol the area that I always see when I'm in Inspirata. So so definitely I think it's well worth the money and I think it definitely helps protect those home values as well long term which is the whole point of a HOA. There are some bad apples with the HOAs and you know I'll try and make sure you don't end up with one of those and that's again why it's important to reach out and have these conversations with me so I can help you with exactly what you're looking for. But I think the HOA and Inspirada do a really good job. Also one of the complaints I sometimes hear about Inspirada is we're too far away from a lot of things well you know Costco is always a big thing for people Costco is only about maybe a 10-15 minute drive at the most depending you know if you're at the far back end of Inspirada and that's on St Rose Parkway there's also St Rose Hospital so that'll be one of your closest hospitals and there's a whole variety of different businesses whether it's stores or restaurants along St Rose Parkway and along Eastern Avenue so you're not going to be too far away from things there to get back into Green Valley and the district as well isn't only going to be about 15 minutes or so and you're also really close to the freeway access to get back into the rest of Vegas you know the 15 is just right on your doorstep so really I don't think you're going to be missing it Okay guys, so another thing I love about Inspirada is it's the home of five different parks. These parks are scattered throughout the community and the majority of them are going to be walking distance from the homes. This one we're in now is Capriola, which I believe means somersault. So all of the things in this park are to do with movement, walking distance from a lot of the homes here and also the school, the elementary school, the Ellis Elementary is walking distance to this park. This park has a splash pad, it has some great children's playground like slides, swings, things for the kids to enjoy. It has basketball courts, it has some amazing tennis courts, which I love. It has an amphitheater. And then my kids also love that at the end of this, there's some multi-purpose uh, fields, which are just open for you to run. There's some dog parks here as well. So all of the other parks have different themes. One of the other parks, I think it's Potenza, has an outdoor keyboard that my daughter loves, loves me playing because she's not heavy enough to step on it. It just reminds me of the film Big. And everything in this community just is, is geared to everybody being outside, enjoying the 300 days of sunshine, mixing with your local community. And as I said, I just love it. I can't wait for my family to move here on a personal level. So one of the things I used to always hear from clients when I was recommending Inspirado was, Peter, it's a great community. It feels fantastic, but there's just not a lot of stores. There's, we have to go far out of Inspirado to get back into Henderson to get to any of the stores that we want to get to and 
where we're standing now is called the Shops at Inspirado and it's a, a new selection of stores. Not a huge variety of stores, you know, you got a Marco's Pizza, which you see behind me. There's a UPS store, a Great Clips, there's a Griddle's Breakfast Bar. There's actually a, a dental and orthodontist as well, which I've seen has got really good reviews. There's a Gabby's Boutique uh, Donuts and some really fancy uh, French pastries there as well, amongst some other stores. So it's not got a massive variety. Also, across the way, next to the Overlook, there's a, a new Starbucks that opened there, and I'm, I'm a huge Starbucks fan. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I used to be a manager in Starbucks, so I'm a huge Starbucks fan. I know it's not for everybody, and some of you guys prefer more boutique options, but I, I love Starbucks. My mornings wouldn't be complete without Starbucks. There's a whiskey bar and grill, which has some really great, uh, there's sometimes great live DJs there, live music. And there's also, which I find interesting, there's also an outpost of the Henderson Library. So you don't have to go all the way into Inspirado if you have kids and you want to go to the library. I'm sure they have story times and special events like all of the other Henderson libraries. So I think, again, this is just another great reason. Also, in terms of future development, not far from here, Station Casino, Station Casino, sorry, I've got planning permission to build a brand new casino. It's going to be probably along the same lines of their other properties. So think Red Rock Casino, think Green Valley Ranch. It's going to have lots of great amenities in there as well. You're going to have bowling alleys, a theatre and just a great place to go and enjoy in the local area. And from some of the new homes here, that will probably be walking distance as well. So let me know what you think and if this is a great addition to Inspirada. So guys, another great reason to move to Inspirada, and it's actually one of the reasons that we're moving our family to Inspirada is the school. And behind me, you can see the amazing Ellis Elementary. This elementary school was actually rated 10 out of 10 on greatschools.org. You can go and check that out yourself amazing amazing elementary school that serves this part of the Inspirada community we're hopefully going to be having our kids in there from the next school year so we can't wait to see how our, our kids do there the middle school that's ranked for, uh, the middle school that's zoned for this area sorry is Dell Webb middle school and that's one of the best if not the best middle school in the whole of the area as well so again another really good highly rated middle school you can check that one out on greatschools.org as well the only one that sort of lets it down, if I'm being completely honest, and I'm always going to be transparent in these videos, elementary, middle school, fantastic. I can't wait to get my kids into those schools. The high school, Liberty High School, can be a little bit hit and miss. The rankings aren't as high as some of the other high schools in the area, like Green Valley High School and Coronado High School. But there are plans to build a, a new um, high school for just the Inspirada area. And I'm sure that's going to be sooner rather than later because this area is just expanding so much. And hopefully then we'll have a really high quality high school that serves this area. But right now it's going to be Liberty High School. If you're sort of put off by Liberty High School, there's also a charter school, Pinecrest Academy. Great charter school, STEM based education. Actually goes from K to 12, which is amazing. So you'll have all the years covered. But I think public school wise, you're going to be perfectly fine with Ellis Elementary behind me. Dal Webb on the middle school and Liberty High School is not awful don't get me wrong but it just doesn't rank as high as these two schools um, and you might see some differentiation there but overall I think the schools here are amazing and as I said me and my wife we can't wait to move here and have our kids in these schools not that there's anything wrong with our schools in Green Valley the schools here though are just up another notch so let me know what you think of the schools here in the comments below and that's it guys, that's a quick tour and a little update on everything that's going on in Inspirada and all the little changes that have happened in the last couple of years. So much great development that's going on here, so much more future development, so you still have an option now if you get in here, you're still getting in here before it's completed, it's still in the growth stage, which is great from a future investment point of view. I love Inspirada, I think as I said, the parks, the schools, the stores that are here locally, Everything just ticks so many boxes for me and my family, and that's why we're going to be moving to Inspirada. But I also know it's not for everybody, so let me know your thoughts about Inspirada in the comments below. Or if you also live in Inspirada, and there's something I forgot to mention that you love about this area, pop that down in the comments below as well. If you have found value from this video, then please go ahead and subscribe and tap on the bell for notifications, and you'll be amongst the first to know about everything that's happening here in Las Vegas and Henderson doesn't cost you a thing to subscribe but it definitely helps me and my channel grow so even if you got an ounce of value from any of my videos I totally utterly appreciate it just as a reminder if you are thinking about moving to Las Vegas or Henderson please get in touch you can give me a call shoot me a text send me an email we can also jump on a zoom and all those details are down below and a huge thank you to everyone who has already reached out to me the amount of you that are calling me on a daily basis is staggering I never thought it would be 
possible, but you guys have been great. You've been a great support to me and my business, and I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. Don't think I don't realize it. I'm, I'm still grounded. I'm still humble, so I appreciate every one of you. Until the next time, thank you for watching, and you take care.